Welcome back everybody. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. I like to post all sorts of homemade recipes weekly, so if you consider subscribing, be sure to click that bell notification to get all of my latest videos. Okay, today I am going to make an easy version of menudo. Basically, this is the way my aunts, my uncles, my dad even made menudo this way, and it's basically using the pre-packaged menudo mixes. I'm going to make this easy, but it's still going to be delicious. And I'll also link my older recipe in the description below if you want to check that out. And here's how I do it. To get started, I am going to be using five pounds of honeycomb tripe. And this bag that I'm using, I purchased it pre-cut. And because you guys left comments in my last video, I am going to try the method that you guys suggested by using water and lime to clean and wash my tripe. Now, honestly, when I opened the bag, it doesn't smell as bad as I've smelt before when making menudo. So I think this one was already pre-cleaned or washed, but I'm still going to do this because it does help lessen the smell when you are boiling it. So thanks to my commenters for the tip on using lime. So I'm just going to rinse everything well, and I'm also going to be cutting anything that looks too large. Here I'm working with a 16 quart pot, and I'm going to add around 10 quarts, somewhere between nine and 10 quarts of water. And at some point I will be transferring this to a smaller pot, but this pot will do when I'm pre-boiling and preparing this. So I'm going to turn on my heat to a high to a medium high setting. I'm going to add half of a medium onion and two bay leaves to the pot. I'm also going to be adding one tablespoon of Mexican oregano to this. I'm going to give everything a good mix. And before I forget, I'm also going to be adding a couple cloves of garlic. Now that everything is added to my pot of tripe, I'm going to bring up the water to boil. Once it starts to boil like this, I'm going to set a timer and let it boil for one hour. And I will be boiling this uncovered, so I'm going to lower the heat just a little, just so that it doesn't boil over. After one hour, I'm going to skim out any foam and fat that's floating on the surface to help clean the broth. After removing everything from the surface, now I'm going to add my pre-mixed menudo spices. And this is three ounces of menudo mix. I will leave the ingredients and measurements in the description below. I'm going to add it to the pot and give it a good mix. Once I've mixed in my menudo mix, I am going to add salt and salt is going to be to your preference. I am going to start with one and a half tablespoons of coarse ground sea salt. If you are using something like fine salt or fine table salt, you might want to try starting with a tablespoon and work your way up from there. And it's all going to be to your taste. So you'll want to taste it again towards the end after everything has simmered. Once my menudo has gently boiled for an additional hour, I'm now going to add hominy. Here I have a 30 ounce can of hominy that I'm going to drain and rinse well. You can definitely add more hominy if you like extra, but I only had one 30 ounce can that I drained. And even after draining the liquid and rinsing it, you end up with about a pound of hominy. So I'm just going to mix that in and allow it to continue cooking for about 45 extra minutes. The whole process of making this menudo takes around three hours. Once my meat is tender and my hominy is cooked, I'm actually going to transfer this to a smaller pot. So ultimately this entire recipe gives me around seven quarts, something like six and a half to seven quarts of menudo. Now, 
Now that my menudo is transferred to a smaller pot, I'm going to place it right back on the stove and just let it simmer at a very low heat just to keep it warm because it's actually done at this point. I'm going to taste it for salt once again, so you'll want to salt it and taste it to your preference. I'm also going to remove those bay leaves. And now I'm ready to serve a bowl. And I will be adding some toppings to this. You can add whatever you like. I like to do diced onion, some fresh cilantro. I also like lime. And if you want spice, add some jalapeno or serrano peppers. Now it's time to serve a bowl. Okay, so my menudo is ready, and that bowl that I made, my husband ate it right up. He really does love menudo, and so does my kid. I like to make menudo year round, and I gotta tell you, this recipe is very easy. It's less steps, but it's just as delicious. So I hope you guys give this recipe a try. I hope you like it, and thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>